to you. Lovely to have you with us. And welcome to the Internet Phone In. It's Saturday night. Nothing gets past me, of course. Saturday night, the 26th of February. And uh, good to have you with us, of course. We'll be taking calls very shortly. And I'm very glad you could come and join us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Every Saturday night, 9 o'clock sharp, we have the Internet Phone In. It means you can phone in and you'll see the number across the bottom of the screen on the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. So get yourselves onto that and see how you go. How fantastic is that? Hi, Scotty from Barra. Hello, Patrick and Barra. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Now, um, Kareem can't be with us tonight because, bless him, he has COVID. He told me. And uh, we want to send him strength and uh, all the love and luck in the world for health. That's it. Health and strength to our great caller, Kareem. Wonderful to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Scotty McClure is live right now on YouTube, TikTok. We're also live on Twitch and we are live on Facebook and LinkedIn for all the business people. There we are. Angry Scotsman. Lol, thank you for your service. Not all up north. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Now, there we are. Let's see what's happening in the chat here. And then what I think we'll do, we'll open up the lines. Hello, Scotty McClure. Have a good call night. Yes, Kareem, we will, but we are missing you. Good evening, Scotty, says the wonderful Gordon Roddick. Good evening, Gordon and dinky do. Gordon, of course, a very big name. And a great announcer and newscaster and a transmission controller for STV and ITV. Good evening, Scotty. Hope all's well with you. Just about to head out to Lockerbie on an engineering work. Stephen, please stay safe, my dear friend, and thank you for keeping the railways going. We appreciate it. Hello from Sweden. You're no real Scotsman, says some dafty. Right. I don't know who you are, dafty. And I am a real Scotsman, but I don't think you are. You mustn't assume everybody has your lifestyle. Think you do, Scotty, says John. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Uh, lovely to have everybody on. Dinky do. Dinky do to you. And uh, who else have we got to you? Hello from Sweden. Follow us. Yes, indeed. Evening, Captain. Evening, Kenny. Dinky do, Scotty. Hey, Scotty, baby. Dinky do. Lovely to have you all with us. There's Lily. Hi, Dinky Doo from Craig End, Lily. I hope you had a lovely birthday. Uh, Derek Thompson, evening, Scotty. Looking forward to this. Derek, so lovely to have you with us and a big Dinky Doo to you. You absolute legend and top man. Uh, now, hello, Scotty. I hope you're having a fab evening, says Ewan and Barra. All reeks is Thor. Dinky Doo, Scotty. And uh, lots more. Now, let's see if we can get the phones going, guys, because I want to hear from you. Uh, who have we got here? Hail, hail, the Celts are here. Hey, Scotty, baby. In the interest of balance, we have to say, up the jars, and we are the people. There we are. Dinky do. Here's the phones going. Let's see who's this. Hello, are you live on Scotty's phone in? Who's that? Martin, my man, are you dinky do tonight? Yes, I'm very, very well, dinky do, Lala. Lovely to have you with us, Lala. What's happening in the real world? Um, I am still watching Take the High Road, still. Um, You're watching Take the High Road. What number are you up to, Martin? 380 now. Woo! We love it. Fantastic. I love it. I had a look today, and there's well over 500. Is that right? Aha, uh -huh, there you are. I'm not just an athlete, you know. Yes. Yes. I'm very happy you've got a Glen Gary on I put the Glen Gary on with you in mind because I know you appreciate it. And we've also Thank had you. it on. Thank we you. popped up Thank earlier on TikTok. Thank you, Scotty, my man. There you are. You see, we look after our people on here. Yeah. How are you finding all this cold weather? Oh, oh Martin, it's been a nightmare. And I got a huge gas bill. Have you ever had gas? Yes. Yes, it's very expensive. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, so that was that. So anyway, that's uh, that's uh, there for sorting out. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, Kareem's got COVID, he told us uh, last night. Mm -hmm. So I, uh, I am sending regards from me. You're a very uh, kind man. He will appreciate that, Martin. Yes. So yes, I... absolutely. Yes, uh, please protect us from Russia, Scotty, says Inky. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Martin, lovely to hear from you, and you take great care. Yes. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Emma. How are you getting on? I'm very well, thank you. Are you dinky do? Dinky do to you. That's what it's all about. Lovely to hear you. Okay, bye bye, Scotty. Love you lot. Martin, take care, la. Dinky do. Okay. Ta ra you now. Bye. Love you lots. Bye. See you, la la. Bye. There we are. That's our Martin. What an absolute top man. Phones are going here. Hello, Scotty. How the devil are you on this chilly evening, my good man? Says Chevy. It's ringing. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? I've got it's Patrick from Barra. Patrick from? Barra. From Barra, Patrick. Come on, how are you? Hakaba, Scotty. Ah, Hakaba. Yes, yes. Gleva, Gleva. What's, what's happening in Barra? Uh, not much, Scotty. Are you all laughing and laughing there? I am speaking to my friend Ewan. Good. How many have you got with you tonight? Uh, I've got about 50. <laughs> 50 people? Yeah. Ah, good evening, Barra. <laughs> okay, bye, Scotty. Dinky do like. Good to hear you. What part of Wales are you from? Oh, I, 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 I if I was from Wales, I... I would be from the valley, see? Yes, indeed. And I say to you, Borada and uh, Yakida. Karim, thank you for sending me beautiful TikToks. You're an absolute top man. Who's this here? Hello, you're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. How are you doing? It's Glenn. Hey, Glenn. Did you do la la? Are you okay? Hello, Scott. Yeah, I'm not so bad. Thanks yourself. Hey, there's Thorpey saying, ha ha, have a good one, you legend. Scott. Um, I brought my little girl down to see my mum for the first time last week. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. And it was absolutely, don't get me wrong, it was a pleasant experience bringing down, but trains got cancelled on Friday, right? All oh, right. We had to stand up all the way through from Sheffield, uh, from Birmingham, all the way back to Sheffield. Oh, no, no, that should never, ever be. You should have a lovely seat for you and the little one. I think cross country could say, well, you realise what situation we're like, you shouldn't have travelled. You know, because of adverse weather and that. Yeah, well, the adverse weather, certainly, I suppose, that does make why a bit you, of sense. Why should you have to jeopardise bringing your daughter down, Scotty, to see your pet, the rest of the family? And well, I suppose, child? in one way, they do have a point about the weather. Do you know what I mean? You right, can't, yeah. if the weather's... Because it was pretty bad our way, and I would imagine your way it was as well. Scotty, but... For people, as for trains to turn up like three minutes before departure and everybody's just ramming on, they realise you've got a baby daughter in front of you. They don't care, Scott. No, no, nobody bothers nowadays. The manners are shocking. It's like holding the doors open for people. I always do things like that. Oh, I do know. all that, absolutely. But, but some people's manners are absolutely shocking these days. Well, we Manners and that, it don't cost a penny, does no, it? No, manners, 100% free. Uh, anyway, Scotty, instead of moaning about... What yeah, let, is, let's uh, not have all that. Uh, our things. Uh, brilliant. I don't know if you've been watching the TikTok, but my goodness me. Apart from weather, Scotty, it's a bit of a cold one, isn't it? Oh, it's a cold one. You've got to wrap up warm, Glenn. As, uh, you know, we're energy, you know, we're energy suppliers and all these increases. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think these companies ought to just realise how tough it is for people these days with bills and that? You know, we've yeah. got electric. Absolutely. Hang on a second. There's Billy asking, where is Scotland? Right? Scotland is at the centre of the universe, Billy. Uh, I hope Kareem gets well soon from Bless Kareem, yes. Poor uh, You know, I mean, I hope he's okay. Oh yes, yes, I think we're going to have to sort of find a way around it. 
it's just like another version of flu, so to speak, in it. Yeah, it's how you go about it. I remember yeah. having a decorator in the house, and he told yeah. me what one he'd even done, and I said, "How much does it cost?" And he said, um, "Ah, well, you see, it depends what way we go about it." Exactly. <laughs> Things like adverse weather and the COVID and all that play a part of your life. Obviously, it plays a little part in your life, but you yeah. don't let it overrule your life, do you? No, no, you can't. I mean, you've got to, you've got to get on with your life. But take precautions. You know, keep a bit of social distance. Of course, you. I mean, what do you reckon to um, lower restrictions then, Scotty? Do you think that's a good idea then? Well, I don't know. You see, we've kept ours in Scotland just for now. Yeah. yeah, just to see what's what, Glenn. You know what I'm and saying? What do you reckon that evil man's playing at then, Scotty? Uh, well, I don't know what he's know. playing at, to be quite honest, because I'm not party to all the end-to-end -end encrypted calls to the Kremlin. But, yeah, um, yeah. you know, I mean, I, I'm finding it very strange that he's gone as far as he has. But there's quite a bit of history in Ukraine that we're not necessarily hearing about. Oh, yeah. You, you see? So I think he was made a bit nervous by the West pushing in. I mean, he's on an adding to nothing, isn't he, Scotty, to be honest? Well, yes, it's just going to cause a lot of problems for people when we've had problems anyway. I mean, I don't know if he realises we've had the pandemic here and yeah. we've had Brexit. And now we're getting, you know, a bit of war, the threat of war on top of it. Do you think we'll have a World War Three then, Scotty? No, I, I hope not, because uh, it wouldn't last very long. And um, they only give you a three-minute warning, and I can't find something I really want to do. I thought boiling an egg might be an idea, but you'd only it be quite soft-boiled because it's not going to be ready. I like this guy. I love it. Do you know, so I'm kind of I'm stuck for ideas if we get a three-minute warning. Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, no, no. If we did get a three-minute warning, I think probably I'd pop up and take a few calls. Yeah, definitely. You, you know, you're such a charming and uh, charming and reliable guy, Scotty. Well, just to just to put people's minds at ease. Scotty, you know, you know when you rub people wrong way in pasta on on radio. Scotty, oh, all the time. Yes. That's your charm offensive, that Scotty, to be fair. That's that's something that you should be credited us all for. You just Well, we don't want to be letting them off with too much nonsense. Well, of course you don't. I mean what you see is what you get, Scotty kind of thing, isn't it? If, if they don't like you throw your hand. And now here's Alan here's Alan saying there will be a coup before it comes to that. Never mind the oil from Russia, says Danny. Let's keep drilling in the North Sea and be the new supplier to Europe. Danny, you're taking the words out of McClue's mouth. We shouldn't be getting our gas from Russia. We should be getting it from Scotland. So anybody who's Russian and who's got businesses over here, do they have to go back to Russia then? Well, no, what's happening, and it's 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 going to be a short, sharp shock, this. Uh, yeah. the, 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 the dollar, they've been stopped from dealing in dollars. And 80% oh, yeah. of Russian business is apparently done in dollars. So, you know, I mean, it's going to bite pretty harsh and they're not going to be able to fuel up the army and all that stuff. I mean, there is, there is Russian people that live in England, though, Scotty, isn't there? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes, I mean, all oh, lots and lots all over the place. England, adapt, Scotland, oh, everyone. How are they going to adapt to it, Scotty, do you reckon? That well, this is it. Thank you to the fabulous Sarah Queen. She's sending me 50 red roses. I mean, you've got Ukrainian, you've got part Fifth. of Russia was in Ukraine, where, where any kind of things got there. Yeah, well, this is the problem, you see. Ukraine used to have a huge nuclear arsenal. Yeah. Sarah Queen, what are you doing? She's sending me 100 red roses. Brilliant, Scott. I mean, let's, like I said, let's not get too carried away. Let's no, I'd, oh, away. she's gone over the 100. She's sending even more. Sarah, uh, this is so kind. Radio that's okay, no, Scotty. Is it progressive? Uh, radio, yes, absolutely. We might be as soon as maybe a month or two. Uh, is, will that be all over? Country yeah, all well, over we'll be able to get it. You see, you'll also be able to get it. You'll get it on FM, you'll get it yeah. on DAB, 
and you'll get it on the internet. That's brilliant, Scotty. I mean, wow, uh, Sarah, Sarah's gone right over the top. She sent me 200 rosies. Has Matey Boy been on recently, Scotty? Matey Boy, I haven't heard from for some time. I hope he comes on tonight. Yeah, it'd be nice to hear from him, Scotty, anyway. Yeah. Uh, Too generous, Scotty. Scotty. Sarah has sent, have a guess, Glenn, 350 red roses. She is um, one beautiful princess. How much is that worth then, Scotty, for you to get? Is that for a I, 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 I don't know. She's still at it. She's sending even more. Brilliant. Oh, I'm, Sarah, I am so humbled. I hope you are not robbing yourself here. She's Can laughing. You know what, She's laughing her head off. What a princess. In the morning, do you like a fresh breeze in front of you then? Or do you oh, yes. Oh, no, no, no. I love when you get a bit of fresh air. Sometimes I'll take a walk. You, you, like, to, you like hiking and things? Yeah, I'll uh, take a walk. Well, you see, the dog died about this time last year. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I have it. And he, was, he wasn't he was terribly well before that. So he wasn't going for big yeah. walks. Sarah, what are you doing, my darling? She's sending me even more. Another you know 350. What? Scotty, you don't want these people to end up skinning the Sandia. No, well, I hope she done. I mean, she's she's yeah. the loveliest person of God's earth. Uh, did you do, Mr. McClure? How are you doing tonight? Just watching the fight. Oh, there's no fight on here. It's just Glenn and I chatting. The boxing, I think, Scotty. I think there is Red roses for Scotty La. Thank you, Wonky. Yes, Ukraine will win. President Zelensky is a true leader. Did you ever follow boxing, Scotty, when you were younger? Did I what? The boxing? Did you ever watch boxing? No, I used to introduce it on the telly when I worked for ITV. Oh, were the big boxers in? in oh, the, the big boxers Scotland. then. Well, the big Scottish ones, Ken Buchanan, James oh, yeah. Watt. You know, fantastic names did there. You, did, did you go to the boxing bouts then, Scotland? Yeah, and remember, you have Naz down in Sheffield, don't you? Naz Imamage, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And the, the reason one Cassius Clay. Yes, Muhammad Ali, Sonny Liston, Sonny Liston. Kel Brook were fighting against Amir Khan last Saturday, Scott, eh? Oh, incredible, incredible. I think, I think, to be fair, it's a brutal sport, Scotty, actually, boxing. Well, I don't, I don't fancy, actually, I don't fancy just getting a punch in the gob for a living. No, definitely, definitely. I mean, there's been one or two boxers that have actually... Really been uh, badly scotted, to be fair. Yeah, absolutely. And Glenn, I'm you know, going to have to dash that. I'm so sorry. Scott, that Scott, doesn't Scott, mean I don't love thee. Yes, yeah, Scotty, but when they go out to ring, though, they're best friends. Oh, yes, well, of course. that's it. It's a very gentlemanly sport, if you don't mind Scott, getting punched up the hooter. Scotty, you punch seven dollars a you-know-what out to each other. Yeah. Right? You're shaking hands yeah, well, they're absolute gents. Marcus of Queensbury rules. Definitely. Anyway, Scotty, I'll let you move on because there'll be more in your No, way. but don't think I don't love you. Dinky do, oh, Lala. Sarah Glenn, God bless you. Love to the wee ones. There we are. What a top man. Now then, uh, Sarah says, I only give when I can. Well, my goodness, my dear. What a generous lady. That is That puts us well ahead of the game. Fat Joker is sending me beautiful gifts. Follow us, guys. Who have we got here? Oh my goodness. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, Scotty. Hello, Jerry. Jerry, how are you? I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, Who's that? Is that Glenn? No, it's Jerry. No, wait a minute. There's somebody in the background. No, no one in here. Sorry, television's down. All right. Sitting with me. Yep, it's just yourself, Jerry. Right. Now, lovely to hear you. No, I didn't mean you. I mean, it was Sarah is still giving me gifts. The most generous lady. This is just incredible. Sarah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Know, you know what they say. You know what they say. Try it. Rosie's grow on you. Rosie's grow on you. Do you remember the adverts? Oh, um, what's the one? Um, what's his name again? What's the guy's name? Uh, Norman, Norman Vaughan. Norman Vaughan, he did the golden shot. Yeah, he did. Fantastic stuff. Right, let's go back to um, the old situation at the moment.
you mentioned the Ukraine. Uh, uh, had who's shouting, the Scotty? Hang on, there's somebody else shouting. Who's in the background? Hang on, Jerry. Don't say a word. Hello. Oh, sorry. Who's that? Wakefield. From Wakefield. Yeah, mate. Can you hang up and phone me back? Okay, go ahead. Top man. That's wonderful. Right, Jerry, are you still there? Yes. Yeah, I, I told you there was right, somebody in the welcome. background. We must have answered two calls. All right, because uh, Aiden was saying he was trying to get through. Right, absolutely. It's been, it's been, it, you know, I mean, it's just been mobbed. I can't say it's a nightmare because it's wonderful. Jerry, you know yourself. There are radio and television stations can't get callers. And my clue pops up on the internet and the phones go berserk. Exactly. Now, does that not tell us something? Like is at GB News, that's screaming out for viewers. Viewers calling. Well, I mean, why don't they why don't they come and join us here? That's what I say. That question or that answer you gave. Did you say that Ukraine had nuclear arms? Uh, yes, Ukraine used to have a huge nuclear arsenal. And they, they gave it up on the promise that they would be protected by Russia, America, and the UK. And when was this? About, I think, 1998, they gave it up, I think. Truthfully? Yes. But Yeah, there was a protocol in place. Yeah, it's massive. It's got like, it's the same size as, as, as the UK, I think. It's got about 40 or 50 million people. Yeah, but somebody just said there'll be, there'll be a coup before that happens. So, I mean, well, you see, Mr. Putin's not that popular at the moment. And if he thinks no. that going to war... Uh, will make him popular. It actually won't. No. These and days, these see. days are gone, and the the size of the demonstrations in Moscow and Saint Petersburg huge. We can only imagine the numbers. But it's, it's really sad when you watch television and you see what's getting done to the country. While well, Russia was just making it, Sarah Queen, how can I thank you for your generosity and kindness, Jerry? This lady has sent me. She is an absolute. Queen, she sent me huge, huge, huge gifts on TikTok. Oh, well, I've never, I've never, I've right. never ever seen the like of it. And Fat oh, Joker, yeah. Fat Joker, who's another top man, Fat as in P H A T, has just sent huge amounts of TikToks as well. And Willie Long, yeah. who's another generous one, has just sent me a lovely red rose. The Sarah Queen is an absolute princess. Um, I, I saw her come on the TikTok in the early days, and she's she's incredible, you know? Good, good. Listen, going from one extreme to another. Yes, yes, we can do that, though, Jerry. Listen, in the last couple of weeks, I'm going to ask you about, have you ever watched uh, the program Rumpole of the Bailey? Oh, Leo McCann. What a fabulous guy with that very gruff style. Brilliant. So I only really came across him in the last couple of weeks, but it's absolutely brilliant so much. Do you remember a movie, was it called Double Jeopardy? And it oh, was Jeopardy. black and white, and it had uh, Charles Lawton as the lawyer. Right, right. And he's sort of, he sort of brilliant acting. I've just seen a clip of it on TikTok ah, this week. A good movie. I yes, that. brilliant. That's a great movie. There's a Josh. Movie. Josh is sending me huge red roses as well. Josh, stop, lad. Just stop it, boy. Stop, stop, it. stop your generosity, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> but come back to Liam McCann, a great actor. There's somebody who goes, ha ha, go, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, you know, I'm going for a new uh, job interview this coming week. So oh, Jerry. Can... You will be outstanding. They're very lucky to have you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be involved with uh, 
a disability team. So hopefully uh, I get the position. Well, I don't see why you shouldn't. They'd be very lucky to have you. And you have wide and, experience. Uh, and with, uh, there's a wee program coming up in March and they've asked me to do a wee program. So it'll be live to the nation. So Good. I'll give you plenty of info. You, Jerry, absolutely, yes. I think that is fabulous. Just let us know and we'll give it a wee push on here. Brilliant. And also you can have a wee listen in. I will do. And I say I to know. you, dinky do. Dinky do. Dinky do, Lala. That's our Jerry. What a top man. Now, the lovely gentleman from Wakefield, we need to hear from you. That's what it's all about. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, Scott, it's again. Ah, from Wakefield. Yes, yeah, from Wakefield, from Wakefield, now, yeah. I can't thank you enough. That was a real gentleman thing to do. No problem, Scott. We knew there was somebody lurking in the background, but we couldn't work out who. And, yeah, it and, was me, Scott. And Jerry was giving it, no, no, I'm just here myself. <laughs> yes, it was, Scott, a classic, you know, what? difference. What, what about this? Sarah says, got to go, Scotty. Much love from Bradford. Is that not so kind of Sarah? That's very kind from Sarah. I've actually been to Bradford a few times. Bradford, we like Bradford. Scotty, I just want to know what's going to happen with Ukraine. Well, it's very, very interesting. I don't think it will come to war. I think that there'll be something happens. Scotty, well, I've heard that... Uh, there might be nuclear weapons involved too. Well, we don't want that. No, we don't want that, Scotty. No. Because, you know, I have a little shop. I have a little shop in Wakefield, right? Best shop in Wakey. I don't want that to go out of business or I'll be done in. You know what I mean? Yeah, we don't want that, La. We Scotty. want you to be happy in your shop in Wakefield. Do you know Horbury? Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Lovely stuff. Listen, an absolute joy talking to you. Great care of your dear self. And you, Scotty. Scotty, just before I go, please, pal. Yes. Can I get a, can I get a shout out to uh, Aiden, Ben? Big hey, Aiden, absolutely. Yes, indeed. No problem at all. There's two voices. There was indeed in the Crimea. Yes, indeed. You have an echo chamber. Are you a Billy boy? No, Billy boys were uh, thugs and gangsters, and they were sorted out by Percy Sinatra. Follow us as soon as you can. Uh, there aren't bigger than the lockdown demonstrations were in the European cities. Yes, they are. Uh, Scotty, what's the outcome going to be? And the lockdown ones were pretty big. Hang up, Scotty, and phone Azar from Wakefield back. There we are, top man. Uh, who have we got here? Thank you for 50 red roses, Josh. Very, very, very kind. There we are. Uh, to support footy, not really. Papa Francesco, yes, indeed, see. Um, top of the league looking down at the third goal and uh, looking for about 24 ex-soldiers to form a wee team to come and help save Ukraine. I've seen Ukraine on the news. It's sad, official. It's very, very sad indeed, I say. What a fabulous evening tonight, guys. You lot are amazing. This is just incredible. Bring back Dad's army. Do you think, would you like to see national service brought back to discipline our young people? What do we reckon? Right. Um, here we are. Evening, Scotty. Uh, hello, everyone. Stay safe, says Green. Hello, says Martin. There's Carl. Good evening, Scotty. Love from Eccles. Carl, what a joy to hear from you. Uh, Professor Naptiheed, I've been saying for weeks the Russians were coming. Don't say I didn't tell you all this first we won't say that don't you worry there we go who have we got here you're live on scotty's phone in who's that uh, hi scotty it's david how are you so david right? how are you doing lala are you okay i'm good i but all right i, I don't want to talk about it they're talking about all this war i know it's really sad yeah but we're not we're not going to take up the whole evening with it david I know, but can I just say something to you? Why can't I just shoot Putin right, right in the brain and shoot him dead? Who's that? Putin! Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Well, I think you'll find he's probably got a little bit of security around him because he used to run the KGB. And I don't think that removing somebody 
actually changes the situation because somebody else is just going to pop up. You see, and they'll all be waiting. I mean, I think when you're in that kind of level, I mean, remember this guy's probably worth, I don't know, 250 billion quid or something like that. So he's going to be able to afford somebody at maybe, you know, nine quid an hour to look after him security wise. Hold the hold the world to ransom. I think is the term you're looking for. Well, they they don't actually, David. You see, he's not terribly popular at the moment. He's been around too long, really. Of course, I. He's really evil, evil, right? As you know, and we know. But again, there's there's presidents sitting on his table weeks ago, and we're trying to speak to him. They were on his present tables trying to speak to him, but they were apart. And then you've seen presidents in the past shaking hands a long time ago. I don't get that sorted to you. Well, a long time ago, but I think, to be honest, this is a time that maybe we should have hung on to Donald Trump. Well, there you go, I'm Maggie Thatcher. <laughs> Well, I don't know about Maggie Thatcher. She got on very well with Mr. Gorbachev. Okay, fair And also so did President Reagan. They were very good. Hang on, I just need to dump a guy called Sean here who's a half-witted idiot. There he goes. He's gone down the Swanee. There we are. Lovely. Maggie Thatcher, behave now, says Joe. I think you've taken that a step too far, Davy. Ah, you're one too far with Maggie Thatcher. I just thought she was a good lady. I'd back it up. Kind of back in the day, right? You know what I mean? She could take his nonsense, would she? I don't know, you know what I mean? Well, uh, if you speak against him, you're going to get dragged out the crowd and beat and put in a cell, says Scottish Knight. Yes, yes, and we don't really want that. But also yeah. remember that these nukes, as far as I understand it, you see, there's like a cover. And if something's coming towards this country, something gets sent up to intercept it. Right, as you said, a few minute warning, right, you know. As Scottish Knight says, the Russian people aren't Putin. And I think we've got to remember that. Well, that's true, yeah, because you know what it's I mean, they're trying to start against him. Yeah, they weren't too chuffed about it. You know, oh, hey, you know, that's all you say, Scott, you know, but anyway, how are you okay? Anyway, that's that bit, David. Yes, I'm absolutely amazing. I have to say that the YouTube channel and the TikTok channel are just taking off. Well, I think so. It might be within even a month or two. A month? So, if you're going to see on a uh, UK radio, yeah, of course. Yes, it's, uh, it's in the United Kingdom, and it's a massive right. station, and it's got an FM outlet, it's got a DAB outlet, and it's also on the internet, and you can I get an app. Out. Your John would be able to sort out an app. Oh no, I can't. I can't see at the moment. I'd, I'd get my head in my hands, you know. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't reveal the, the details at the moment. Oh yes, you'll be able to shout. Alexa, play Scotty McClue on YouTube. Uh, well, I think we'll start with maybe one night a week. Right, okay. And then, right. and then see how that goes. Oh, I'll, I'll be telling you. I'll be telling. Well, I think it might be an idea to start with a weekend. What's he shouting and bawling? Well, no, no, no. John is your your key to getting the app. But you'll not need an app, you'll get it on your radio. That's good, and also, of course, Alexa, of course. Yeah. Alexa, absolutely, she's the one. And we can shout, 
Alexa, play Scotty McClue on radio. Hello, John. Oh, he's giving you a hard time there, John. He's giving you a hard time. I'm, I'm telling him he's going to need you to look after the app. It's always a great joy to hear your voice, Scotty. It's lovely to hear you, my boy. I'll tell you that. And, Thank you, and, and I'll tell you, he's going to need you for all the, the technical side of getting my clue. <laughs> Yes. Yes, I set that up thirty years ago, John. Yes, that's right. That's right. That was you had Radio Clyde in the West, Radio Forth in the East, and nothing in between. That's right. Nineteen nineteen ninety. I joined in 1989 and we set it up. I was what you call the launch MD. Were you part of it? Yes, I set it up. Did you? Hi. I was your man. Scott, you are so sexy, you really are. And I remember hiring all the DJs and uh, right. setting up the transmitter and all right. that. Scott, you're about to be as hell as most of you, son. Well, I don't know about that, but, uh, but that's what happened. And then, and then we went down to Preston, uh -huh. and that was the right. start of Scotty McClure's Nightline. Right, okay, right. Fantastic. Hey, so, what was your first ever radio station, Scotty? First what ever radio day? station uh, would be, I, I set up a radio station when I was nine. We built one. Really? My father and I, and you could hear it. Wow. You could broadcast in the house, you could hear it in the car radio in the garage. <laughs> nine year old and we put it together wow. and it was it was brilliant and that was uh, gave me a taste for it and then as i was growing up i used to love listening to terry wogan jimmy young all, right. all these alan freeman oh well well i had to i had to you know i mean although there was still a bit of carry on but it was all very polite. Yeah, yeah. And I'll tell you, one of the boys in the class got caught listening to his transistor with an earphone in. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, you're not a school boy, Scotty. Uh, no, I wasn't really naughty. I got belted for talking and laughing. So as you can see, I've been cured. I don't talk and laugh now. You're quite disruptive to this day, aren't you? So there it is. I haven't really changed, John. I dressed the same as I dressed when I was 16, you know. Uh, uh, yes. So what do you prefer, radio story or TV? Oh, um, well, it depends. I, I see them as separate uh, separate issues altogether. Absolutely. If we're doing TV, then we're doing TV. If we're doing mm -hmm. radio, then we're doing radio. I love the yeah. intimacy of radio. Yeah, 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 you yeah. see, and I love the yeah. fact that people used to phone me. Uh, you mm -hmm. see, if you went on one of these official phone ins, they go, and your name is, and what's your number, and all that nonsense will phone you back. I used to take calls just unsolicited off the street, and that's what made the show so great. Yeah. Yeah. I had to be pretty uh -huh. quick on the button, of course, for the numpty heats. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know. Fantastic. Oh, I, oh, I'm not to that one. No, I'm thinking of the numpty heads that used to phone. Oh, some of them were as daft as brushes with no heat. <laughs> no, no, half of them I wouldn't have trusted to sit the right way around in the lavatory. <laughs> Kareem is well. He's a really Kareem, good guy. Kareem's really good. Numpty Heat's very good. Numpty Heat's great fun. He's a nice guy. There's some cute, there's some, some really good, you know, sensible callers. Here's official uh, saying, uh, are you on the radio in Wales? Russia have right. over one million strong armed forces. And Putin wow. was the former leader of the KGB. Is not daft. Uh, I think we've uh, got 60,000 troops, haven't we? And he's got a, he's got a million, so um, you know yeah, somebody yeah, do the yeah. math. Uh -huh. So, Scotty, what's 
Well, I will keep you up to date, John. You're obviously something of a radio buff. It's a joy to talk to you, and you take great care of your dear self. To pass me back to the boss, thank you, bro. What's, an Aussie boy. An boy, absolutely. What a lovely guy he is. I'll tell you, David, give him a hug from me. He's been taken away off YouTube. Sean. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's yes. Been away. Somebody has been a naughty boy, yes, absolutely. So I don't know what's going to happen there. We don't know, but I was uh, seeing things we had to to a certain man. He was really nasty, nasty. And then I said, Is that a person we want on YouTube? And it was really strange. He was going too far. But anyway, I'll say thank you to my Listen, friend. I shall say thank you to you and Tara Lala. Uh, David, 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 yeah. stick yeah. your tongue out and say ta-ta. 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 <laughs> what a guy. Right, to the telephones. So, Scotty, what show was better, Dad's Army or Hogan's Heroes? I love the two of them, Fat uh, Joker, because Fat Joker as in P-H-A-T. I loved the two of them. I thought they were both fabulous, but they're different genre. I mean, one's an American comedy, fast talking. The other sort of very British, very English. The stupid boy. We're doomed, doomed. Fantastic. Scotty, talk to us about your faith. Ross, what would you like to know? Uh, so, so there we go. Uh, I'll have to tune in someday and listen. You will indeed official. Uh, they have millions of troops, but if they don't have a cause, they will perish. Well, this is what happened (coughs) in the Second World War, you know, being sent to the Russian front, and it was just absolute sheer hell, Uh, you know, and that's not a swear word or anything. That's what it was like for these young Russians in the Second World War, because Russian leaders don't really care too much about their people. Uh, Scotty, uh, oh, we've done that when he's lovely. Thank you, official. Love them both. Absolutely fat joker. Where are you from? I am from TikTok. Uh, If I was a Russian tank driver, I'd be writing my will. Well, you see, I think the days of the tanks. I actually knew somebody who was the nephew of the guy that um, uh, brought the tank to the British Army. And his father, this guy's father, was a general who was the go-between between between Lord Kitchener and Lord Curzon in India. Kitchener was the commander-in-chief of the army, and Curzon was the viceroy. And the two of them, India was not big enough for these two egos, and this dear old general used to go between them. And he says, right, well, tell him all that stuff. Isn't that interesting? When this live is over, can you please play Loch Lomond in the squeeze box? It's beautiful. Official. We'll have a look at that. And Dinky Do. Uh, we want you, Dinky Do. Um, it still amazes me that war seems to be the answer. Well, you see, Fat Joker, the problem is war isn't the answer to anything. It's just a nightmare. It might make a couple of elites very wealthy because they tend to buy arms shares and come in on both sides. Uh, You know, but uh, I mean, that's bordering on the evil as well. Let's have it straight. But there are no winners in war. When you say we won the war, there may have been some sort of advantage, but there are no winners in war. You can't win a war. There we are. Where did you get your wig from? It looks amazing. Did you you love that one, Oliver? Uh, So there we are. So no, war is not an answer. Thank you to our beautiful TikTokers tonight for their generosity. Uh, What We did that one, didn't we? Yes, Putin was the former leader of the KGB. He's not daft. I don't think anybody said Vladimir is daft. Uh, There we go. Now, who have I got here? Arms sales, you've hit the nail on the head. 
well, this is it. It's all to do. Everything is a distraction from the last worst thing, you know, and you, you've got to not lose sight of that. Uh, so we had Carol there. I've been saying that for weeks. We got that. Hi, Scotty and Kareem and Susan. Uh, get well soon, Kareem. Beppe says, good evening, Scotty. Get Putin tilt. There we are. You're welcome, says Suzanne. Uh, Aiden is joining us. Dinky do Aiden. There's Martin. There's Jerry. Uh, I'm just running through all the fabulous chat here, guys. Um, who else have I got? I think there's two callers on. There was the wonderful D. Gourley. Good evening, the most handsome Scott, our Scotty. D, you are terribly, terribly kind to me, I say to you. I heard NATO would protect them when they gave nuclear weapons. Uh, yes, I think that's what they were thinking, Magnus, you know. That's the sort of idea. Thanks, Joe, very kind. Hi, everyone, dinky do. Jerry sounded like a radio phone-in producer. Seriously, very good conversation. Joe, Jerry is, uh, you know, a member of the radio profession. So there you are. He knows his stuff. You're going to be a TV star, Jerry. Absolutely. Now, who else have we got here? Susan, my radio show begins in March. I'll keep you posted, says Jerry C. Told you. There we are. Uh, D, great to see you back. Thank you very much, says D. D is an outstanding lady. I hope she gives us a call. There's Wadge from Manchester. Dinky do, Wadge. And Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. I can't see D on the chat. She's there, Susan. I promise you. Uh, now, what have we got? Uh, the belt. Who remembers that? The belt in school. Do you remember that? Oh, my goodness me. I wish I could send you a picture. Oh, yes, we've got all that. Uh, I love your Glen Gary hat, says Martin. No problem on here. Um, I've checked. Everything's okay. It was my birthday last Monday. What have we got here? OMG on a different phone in here. The font's changed. Have you changed your font? I don't think we can change it here. Uh, lol. So there we are. Lots and lots of lovely feedback from you beautiful people. What's in your mind? Let's see what's happening. Putin visited. Oh, did he? Uh, Putin visited a bakery in East Lothian once. Pointless info, but true. Right fact, Joker, if you're into pointless info, Adolf Hitler's family had a cafe in Dill Street in Liverpool, round the corner from Radio City. Radio City wasn't there then, of course. I used to work with Radio City. And uh, I didn't believe it. I was doing my Victor Meldrew. I was doing, I don't believe it. But he did. And uh, the person I doubted, and I shouldn't have doubted them, sent me the cuttings from the newspapers and the Shiko Grubers had the cafe, and in 1928, I think, Hitler was doing his waiter over the summer. So you'd have got uh, a hot chocolate with uh, marshmallows and squirty cream from Hitler. Lord Kitchener was the poster boy for Britain. I want you, yes. Your country needs you. I wonder if we'll ever see that again. You see, I don't think... Why has Putin started this war? Anyway, it's over Ukraine, Aiden. He's been getting very nervous about the West, you know, influencing Ukraine since there was a coup about 10 or 12 years ago. I can't remember exactly. But you see, they were, they've always been a bit worried about Ukraine because it had a huge nuclear arsenal. And they persuaded them to give it up in the, uh, you know, event of any threat. They would be protected, and now they have a threat. So there's going to be a lot of meetings. The oil lamps will be burning late in NATO HQ, I can tell you. Scotty, you would be on show parade with that headdress. I thank you. Yes, indeed, Mother Hoops. There we go. Fantastic. What about this one, Mother Hoops? Would it not be a touch of this? Your Majesty's Guard is ready to march off, ma'am. Escort for the colour! Slow march! 
Lam dad lady, dad lam lady. Knock knock, who's there? Tank, tank who? You're welcome. <laughs> there we go, all right? Little bit of levity at a very tough time. My grandfather had paddles in school. He wasn't allowed to write with his left hand back then. Oh, wow. Interesting stuff. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. I love pointless facts. Well, Fat Joker, you've come to the right place because I have millions and millions of them. I've never seen my stuff as pointless because all knowledge can come in handy. But a lot of the stuff I know is like the drawer that everybody's got in their house. That's full of string, drawing pins, iron on tape for the turn ups in your trousers. Uh, some old screws that came out of something that may come in handy. Uh, they won't, but that's what everybody says. All that. What about some of the stuff that used to get the man that came round the doors selling you a plastic thing that you could push down the foil on the milk bottle with? Uh, or a little brush that came in handy for pastry? <laughs> uh, there we are. Uh, now, I only know, oh, yes, indeed. Scotty, give me a weather update. Glad you could join us tonight. The weather are very, very changeable at the moment. It's been terribly cold, of course. Uh, but there's going to be a little bit of rising temperatures this weekend. But not too bad. Still a bit chilly in parts across central Scotland. A uh, little bit of sunshine and rain. Sunshine and showers for the weekend. So don't stay too far without the umbrella. That's it from us. That's your weather. Good night. There we are. Order, order. Order, order. House of Commons. Brilliant to the right march. I was in the army. There we are. The Salvation Army. Of course, Jerry. Absolutely. I can remember the Salvation Army were playing. And um, this lady had given five pounds. And the bandmaster went up and said, Thank you for your kindness. What hymn would you like? And she said, him with a big drum. Here have I got here. Let's see what's happening. Oh, my goodness. What's going on here? There we are. I just missed that call with all the chat that was going on. Uh, who have we got here? Good show tonight. I needed it. Good night, Kareem. Good night. God bless, my dear fellow. Thank you for joining us tonight. It's been a fabulous show tonight. Uh, what did your dad think when you didn't go into the parachute regiment like him? I think my father would never have ordered me into the army because he was in it from the age of 18. And he was conscripted. And he was very, very, very highly trained. He was a paratrooper. He was um, a radio operator. He was an engineer. He drove the major in a Willys Jeep. You know, he did all these things, but he was in very dangerous, dangerous theatres of war, defending the bridge at Nijmegen, uh, flying in on Hossa gliders, plywood gliders, towed behind, uh, you know, a tow, as you called them. Uh, Suzanne, thank you, do. Uh, so there we are. Greetings from Bournemouth, Neil. How lovely to have you with us from Bournemouth. What a privilege. So there you are. So I don't think he would have ordered me into the army. And um, my mother did not want me to go to the army. She wanted me to go to the Navy, like her brother, who sadly was killed on HMS Harvester when she sank. Glass of Scottish water. Yes. Right. You all get following me, and I'll have a sip of Scottish water. Now, have we had a lot of following tonight? Pardon me. Have we had anybody subscribing to the YouTube channel? Let me know if you have. There we are. The YouTube channel, for those of you who are on TikTok, was, um, or is, I should say, Scotty McClue, the internet phone in. That's not too difficult for anybody, is it? There we are. Uh, Jerry. Best not to get chucked out of here. A cup of tea and scones, Martin. 
would you stop it? Because I would love a cup of tea and scones right now. Even a wee bit jam and cream. Chris, thank you for sending me a red rose. That is so very, very kind of you. There we are. Jam and whipped cream. Martin, stop. There we are. If you've just joined us, guys, a very warm welcome. 6,600 likes tonight. 6,600 likes. I feel even more humble than usual. Thank you. Uh, Scotty, a cup of char. Where does that come from? Char. It might be a colonial term, Jerry, from the days when the British were in India. And of course, tea is huge, Indian tea. So a lot of tea grown in India, and the British would drink a lot of tea, and they called it char. Uh, I don't know where the char comes from. I could find out. I, I love these things. I love exploring all these things. Chris Michael, thank you for sending me a beautiful gift. Um, but uh, what I think we've got here, you had char wallas who were uh, Indians who served tea to the British, Charwala. And uh, in the army, they used to shout, uh, you say, would you like a cup of tea? And then they'd say, a uh, cup of tea, please. And uh, the uh, steward would go out and shout, Charwala! And somebody would come running with the tea. Uh, good show tonight. Excellent stuff. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, my father was a radio communications officer in the Argyles. Roughly what date would that be, Suzanne? We don't need it exactly, just roughly. I love you, Scotty. Martin, you are very, very kind. Thank you. Char is from charcoal. Yeah, but you wouldn't drink charcoal, would you? Oh, charcoal burning to, to brew up the tea. Cup of char. Uh, and for the people that liked dark tea, Charlie, what a man you are. Chris, thank you for my lovely gifts. What do you think of Highland Games? Well, official, you'll see on the TikTok videos, Scotty McClure has been the chieftain of the Bears Den and Milgai Highland Games. And I think it was 2007, 2007, 2008. I'm just trying to remember. Uh, yes, the Char Waller, absolutely. Uh, so there you have it. Thank you, Scotty. No, thank you, Charlie. We love it. Uh, no success, says Charlie. Who's had no success? Uh, what? Oh, my goodness. I'm looking at the time here. Ukraine wants to be part of NATO and Russia have control of Crimea, where, the nuclear, where its nuclear weapons are. Been there and done it, says Pepe. You, Ukraine never had nuclear weapons. Maybe USSR. Simon, perhaps you should take another look at your history. Yes, they smacked his hand so much in school he had to learn how to use his right hand. That shocking official. Jimmy Shand got uh, the strap in school and his mother went down to the school and threatened to set the teacher on fire. <laughs> it was so badly injured, his hand. Scotty, that's the uh, Panna uh, Josh Taylor fight coming on now. So, dinky do No, you dash off, fat joker. Lovely to have you with us. If he was on the BBC News, I'd listen every morning at 6 a.m. Can you remember the ragman? I can. The ragman's trumpet. Uh, so there we go. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Used to love the Willys Jeep. Absolutely, JD. Uh, can't find your channel. It's on YouTube, and it's Scotty McClure, the internet phone in. And then you'll have access to it. Have to dash. Love you lots. Good night. God bless. ta -ra -ra. There we are. Dinky do. Oh. I just cannot believe we made it in time. That's our TikTokers gone. They've only got an hour. And for you beautiful YouTubers, we had a great call the last time. Charlie, we did have a great call the last time you called. Cheese and toast. Is it not cheese on toast, Martin? Or toasted cheese or roasted cheese? Which would you have? Guys, I'm going to have to dash. I hope you've enjoyed tonight as much as I have. What a fabulous, fabulous show. This is Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. Have a lovely week and join us next Saturday, GWWP, God willing, weather permitting, 
at nine o'clock sharp. Until then, stick out your tongue and say ta-ta. Bye-bye.